Okay, so here we are, and we're going to open up Acoustica Mixcraft. So I'm going to look for my icon, and there it is, Mixcraft 6. I'm going to open it up. It should open up fairly fast, and here we see it's coming up. Now for our first project, and to just get familiar with the Mixcraft, we're going to choose the second option right here, Build Loop and Beat Matched Music and this would be our best choice for actually most of what we do at least to start off so we're going to click on this and of course you're going to get this message if you didn't purchase it so we're just going to say later and here we are now if you get the demo to come up here that's fine just go up to file and go to new project and we'll start and we'll get clear it out and we'll get a brand new project so here we are now the first thing you want to do here is take a look at this screen you'll see all of these audio tracks that are built in Of course there's nothing in any of them right now but each audio track will provide one voice or one sound and then when we add them in piece by piece we will then eventually mix them down to one song that we can save in uh, show to all of our friends and it'll be very exciting down here is simply the play and record feature um, but if we look down here this is really where we want to go you will see that you have four tabs here the project tab the sound tab the mixer which shows you a good old-fashioned mixer and then the library tab now here's where we want to concentrate Mixcraft gives you a whole bunch of built-in tracks that you can use and if you look at these different types of tracks the different types of songs the soul R&B um, horror not sure what that is uh, house DJ a bunch of different things so in this project really what we want to do is we want to show a little bit of ourselves, the kind of music we like the kind of things we like to listen to so really it's an experimentation challenge for you to just go simply through these things and pick out something that you think really tells who you are now for me I'm just gonna choose the classic rock as an example and now if I choose that you'll see that all of these tracks or riffs are built in for classic rock so I'm simply gonna take uh, a bass riff I'll take bass riff one and I'm gonna click the play just so I can hear it okay and now so I'm hearing that bass riff and that sounds pretty good to me so I'm gonna take the bass riff and I'm gonna drag it up hold the left mouse down and put it into actually my fourth box because the bass is usually on the bottom and I'm gonna put four tracks in here so the bass goes on the bottom um, and it's going to tell me a little message here uh, would you like to change it to match the sound I'm just going to say yeah okay so now that it's here I can grab this green bar and I can move it up and down notice that at the top I have my number of beats so this is beat 1, beat 2, beat 3, beat 4 and remember from the time signatures that we looked at last week that 4-4 four, four time would be 4 beats for a quarter note so one two three four would be one measure of our song so I'm going to do four beats for the bass riff and all I need to do is to keep that there move my mouse down to this little corner here where I get a double arrow and move it down and get four beats now when I play this I'm going to get the bass riff for four beats and it sounds pretty cool I don't think you can hear it right now but it does sound pretty cool um, and when you play it of course you'll you'll hear the sound um, now from bass I'm gonna move to something a little different and go to drums because of course bass and drums are key again I'm gonna click the drums hit the play as a preview to see if that's really what I'm looking for and for now that looks like a pretty good drum track so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna drag that up and put the drums right there again once it's there I can place it I can move it up and down I can move this out and I get four now for your song 
you're probably going to want at least 12. I actually, I forget what I asked you to do. But once you get the feel of this, you could actually go out to a 12 or a 32 or a 16, whatever you want. I'm sure once you get playing with this, you're going to really like it. So now if I play this, it's going to play both parts together. And you can see now it's really starting to sound like something. Okay, so now we're going to put a little of the uh, treble in. So I'll take one of the guitar riffs and I'll hit the play as a preview. Okay, and that's, that's pretty intense. So I'm going to take that and drag that up into the guitar riff. And then I'll drag this out a little bit so I'll get four. And then if I play this, you'll see that you're really starting to get some, some sound here. Now, as, as, um, as you add the tracks, you can put in, take out as you want. If you go up to this edit here, this gives you options where you can split tracks, you can cut tracks. For instance, if I want the guitar riff to play for two beats, and then I want it to stop, and then play again on the fourth beat, what I can do is I can go up here and click on this guitar riff, and then I can hit edit, and I can split the track. And basically what that does is cuts it in half. And the shortcut for that, as you saw, is split control T. So instead of going to the menu, you can simply click on the track, find the position, and hit control T. And now I can just drag this out to the fourth beat, and then I'll get space, or I'll get rest, here, and then I'll put it in. Now, play with this, play with all of these libraries, see what it does give you, and I think you'll really be impressed. In fact, you may even get to the point where you're so inspired that you want to actually record yourself singing which of course you can do. Um, once you get four or five tracks in place, a, a lengthy song, then what you want to do is mix it down to a, an MP3. And the way to do that is to just go to File, Mix Down to MP3. And then you should have your file. And then, of course, after we learn how to put it up on our Google page, you'll put it up on your Google page and so for everyone to, to view it or listen to it. Um, there is one other thing that I want to tell you about and that is on these tracks, if you notice, when I put my mouse on these tracks I get this little blue circle with a line and a blue circle and what this does is this lets you adjust the level of the sound for the track. So if you did want these drums to come in softly you could bring it down here and then by just clicking on the line you could actually adjust the intensity or the, or the loudness of that track and so you could get some real good accents on your drums by doing this and of course every track will allow you to do this so what have we learned we've learned how to get into mixcraft we've learned how to add some tracks from the library We've learned how to adjust the sound quality or the sound levels within each track. We've learned how to split the track with Control T. We've learned how to play record. And then finally, we've learned how to file and mix down to our MP3, which is our final goal. So have fun with this. Experiment. Play around. And I'll be listening to your songs. Take care. Bye-bye.